I wanted to share a video I recently watched from Dave Ramsey himself talking about the market and why this is the best time to buy a house. Uh, make sure you watch this video. Make sure you also go to Dave Ramsey's website and like and subscribe and follow him. He's got a lot of great information to share with us. Uh, when the total goods and services, the gross domestic product shrinks two quarters in a row, that's called a recession. And so uh, when it's put on the news, it's called a recession. You're going to die. But that's this is an unusual market because we're kind of at this midpoint. There's like a tipping point thing going on. It's like it's getting ready to go and flip. Uh, it's not it's not going to flip quick, uh, but we're at this moment in time. And I would say for the next six months, this is going to be true. That and you can't usually say this mm -hmm. is what I'm saying. Can't wait. Right now is a the best time to buy a house in the next five years right now hmm. and here's why okay prices are not going to go down some of you are saying well i'm going to wait for prices to come down you're you're, you're not going to get them yeah. they're not coming down yeah okay they're going to go up slower but they're not going to go down they may not go up hardly at all but they're not going to go down and so five years from today houses are going to be more expensive this is as cheap as it's going to be five years in the next five years. So this is the best price right now if you're going to buy a house. Well, interest rates are up. Buy the house. If interest rates come back down, refinance. Yeah. But don't not buy waiting on interest rates to come down. Just refinance the mortgage if interest rates come down. This is right. the best time to buy a house in the next five years. And here's what's weird. This is also the best time to sell a house in the next five years. Hmm. Why? Because we're still have semblance of the crazy white hot market around mm -hmm. and it's really just vibrating it's still really like if you're a seller you really have a real hot commodity right now you got a nice house you put it on the market it'll go and it'll go for a really good price right now and, and it may not be that way six months from now the market may slow down enough that as a seller you may have to sit on a house for a while to get a good price out of it yeah now, i don't think you're going to lose money five years from now but if you're, if you got a, I was talking with a friend of mine um, last night that, that had a, a really big, expensive property that uh, he sold, a farm. He sold it. And uh, he said, because this was the best time he, in the next five years to get rid of that, that farm. He goes, this, I didn't really, I didn't have to sell it, didn't need to sell it, but it was timing the market that this is a great, it's, it's an unusual statement when you can say this is the best time to sell in the next five years and this is the best time to buy in the I next know, because it's so expensive still. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, like, but it's not going to get cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. It's not going to get cheaper. Yes. It's not going to, you can't wait on it to get cheaper because it's not going to. No. And what really causes, do believe that. And what causes, right, what causes real estate to go down? Is this a stupid question? But I'm saying when, it out loud. When, when supply exceeds demand to go yes but in the history of real estate there's only one time in the last hundred years that it went down okay ever period so year after it year wasn't interest rates always it's gone up except yeah. for the in recession 1982, when the interest rates went to 19 percent, 18 percent fixed the prices did not go down now the sales came to a screeching halt yeah people quit buying because they couldn't afford to pay payments on a 15 percent mortgage but uh i mean we were i was selling real estate Mm -hmm. at the time i was in my early 20s selling real estate trying to make a living doing it. i was in college selling real estate i sold some houses and you know a 15 16 17 percent fixed rate market but some of them were for cash people had money um it was a good time to buy at that time but the so it's not a bubble what well, we all just went through the last year of real estate or no, however long it, that no, it's just been insane it, it's, it's not going to pop and everything's going to go yeah because i've heard people say it's not a bubble that that like you know in pockets of america because nope. of the rush nope. you know to states with no income tax of florida tennessee right that that these those are uh, what that's done is it artificially drove the price up faster so we like we saw in 2020 prices go up 32 percent nationwide on real estate i mean my god insane yeah okay and, and this year we're predicting seven percent all right so we're gonna see and that's a pretty good rate. Seven percent is not a bad going up. Your house goes right. up seven percent a year while you own it for thirty years. You're going to be rich off your house. Okay, yeah. so uh, it's not a bad thing. But what it, what the the bubble that is there is not on the actual price itself. The bubble is on the rate of increase. That thirty two percent is not that bubble's going to burst. It yes. already has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just not going yeah. all the way down yet. And so 
you're, what's going to happen is the rate of increase is different than the price. How fast yes. they're going up, that is a bubble. That bubble is gone. It's going to burst. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But they're not going to, I don't, because we all the data we have shows that there is this extreme shortage of housing. And new housing starts are not coming up fast enough to offset okay. it. Yeah. So we're not going to have an oversupply. I just wonder, though, like the houses, like I just think about even in our neighborhood, you know, for what they're going, like the new, a new build, what it's going for. It's, in, it's insane. But you think just, they can still get that price? It's Those, just emotional. They will still get that price, though. Yeah, they will. Yeah. Hey, so in this video, guys, I think that Rachel, uh, Dave's daughter, and Dave hit it right in, uh, uh, just nail it, right? I mean, they they are spot on in regards to what they think about the housing market. And Dave is correct. The houses, uh, the home prices will not drop. I made videos about this as well. So you can check them out over here, uh, right over here. I'll, I'll put a link where you can watch them as well. And I hope you find this helpful. I find that not every client, not every referral partner agent that I work with know who Dave Ramsey is. So make sure you check him out. He's fantastic. Met with him personally several times over the years and he's spot on. So make sure you like, you subscribe and follow him. I mean, he's the common sense that we need right now. So hope you find this helpful. Make sure you watch this video next. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.